Hi y'all, this is So So Blessed. Welcome to the Blessed Place. How y'all doing? I just stopped back by at the end of my day to show y'all my haircut. Yeah, I'm pleased. I like that edge. Y'all see? Y'all see that edge? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I just thought by number one to show y'all my haircut and my edge and um, like I said, I colored it before I went and got it cut. And then the other thing I wanted to um, share with y'all was, <sighs> I'm so sick of this chair. Anybody want to donate a chair? <laughs> okay, let me move the camera since my chair is going down. Um... By the way, if you send me a chair, make sure the weight capacity is over 400 pounds or more. All right? <laughs> Anyways. Oh, the other reason I wanted to stop by to share something with y'all that I was about to tweet, but then my my phone went dead. Y'all, yeah, I was at today. Let me see. When I left here, I went to the barber. Then from the barber, I went to sign my um, paperwork for I got hired. I got hired at um, the local police department that I'm going to be working part time as 911 dispatch. Yep, what I've been doing for 21 years. But hey, this was just such a blessing. I had to take it. was just like the Lord was just handing it to me on a silver platter. And like what my mom said, you don't look you don't look a gift horse in the mouth, something like that. Whatever that means. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I had to take a drug and alcohol test. First time I ever took a drug and alcohol test. When I was hired at the sheriff's office 22 years ago, they didn't even have drug and alcohol tests, I don't think. Or at least they didn't feel any need to have to administer one. But y'all know, these days, these days, you have to have a little draggy, draggy test. And um, I took my little drug test and they told me, oh, you know, pee in this cup and it's got to be at least over this line. And y'all, I'm taking the cup in there, doing my business, and I almost filled up the cup. And I was like, should I pour some out? Do I have too much? <laughs> and then they were like, and I opened the door and I looked around the corner. And they were like, okay, you're done. I was like, well, I'm a little embarrassed because my cup, my cup runneth over. <laughs> and I was like, did I put too much in here? <laughs> and they were both, it was a lady, a nurse, and a guy, and a technician or whatever. He, they were like, no, no, no. You did a great job. As a matter of fact, the more the merrier. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, your pee is such an intimate part of you. <laughs> okay, well, anyways, y'all, where was this story headed? Oh, okay, I got my drug. So, pending my me passing my drug and alcohol test, along with those two daiquiris I had at Outback the other night, and that Advil PM I took about four or five nights ago, long as that's not, you know, a they don't count that. I should be okay with the drug and alcohol test. But this story was not about me getting higher. What was, oh, just telling y'all what I did today. So I went to the barber, went and did that, the drug and alcohol test, and went and saw human resources and signed my paperwork. And then I went to, um, my girlfriend called me and asked if I want to go to the mall with her. And I said, well, I can't go to the mall with you. You got to go do this drug and alcohol test. But when you're done, maybe we could go to dinner or lunch or whatever. So then we met at Red Lobster. Well, I'm sitting at Red Lobster waiting on her to get back from the mall. And I, my battery was going dead. So I was like, let me call her and let me call my husband because this, my cell is going to be going, going dead. So I called her, let her know my cell's going dead, but I'm here sitting inside. I'll be here when you get here. I call my husband, y'all. Okay, this is the whole point of me cutting on this camera. Other than to show y'all my cut, this was the point. I finally got to it. I told my husband, um, yeah, baby, um, I just got finished with my drug and alcohol test, and I'm going to hang out with Cheryl for a little while. And yeah, and, and we might get something to eat. I don't know. We're just hanging out. And, oh, okay, baby. And I said, well, I'll see you at Bible study. If I'm a few minutes late, um, my cell phone is dead, but I'll be there. Y'all, I'm telling him that me and Cheryl's going to hang out and we might, we might get something to eat as I sit in Red Lobster waiting on my friend to get there. <laughs> 
the reason I said I'm hanging out with my girlfriend and we might get something to eat as I sit there in Red Lobster is because y'all this is the fifth day in a row I did not want my husband to know this is the fifth day in a row that I have gone out to eat y'all Saturday I went to this soul food restaurant and um no that, I mean Sunday after church went to the soul food restaurant Monday my husband um he bought some fish and stuff home and we ate that and Tuesday um I think I had Subway sub and Wednesday I had Outback and then I went to an ice cream shop and then today Thursday I had Red Lobster so I was too embarrassed to let him know that this is the fifth day in a row that I'm out <laughs> and I know he he doesn't clock my, my money in that way or our money and he wouldn't have said anything but I know me I would have been like you eating out again and so it was just, I know I would have been like that to him I felt embarrassed because I didn't want him to know that this is the fifth day <laughs> I'm going out to eat. Oh Jesus, y'all, that's what I love. I love, two, I love, well, I, love, I was going to say I love two things, but I love a lot of things. But my, you know, two things that I really, really enjoy in life are shoes and dining out. That's what I love. I enjoy shoes. I enjoy dining out. And, you know, I enjoy a few other things, uh, food, food, yeah, dining out. <laughs> that's that's my thing. That's what I love. But anyway, I just had to cut on this camera to show y'all, like I said, my haircut and to share that with y'all. I was about to tweet it, but then my cell phone went dead. Speaking of Twitter, y'all, I got my husband a Twitter account, Mr. So So Blessed. That is Mr. M R S O S O Blessed, B L E S S E D. Mr. So So Blessed. So that's uh, twitter.com slash Mr. So So Blessed. So y'all, if y'all want to uh, get daily updates um, on the crazy, funny, hilarious, sweet, endearing, loving, silly, um, ill-pronounced <laughs> things that he say, then follow him on Twitter. Also follow me on Twitter, So So Blessed One. He is hilarious, and I just want to share that with the world. All right, y'all. Y'all be blessed. Love y'all. Y'all, um, yeah, just be blessed. <laughs> Bye.